Hey everyone, Johnny Cannabis here with OhioCannabis.com. I'm in Detroit, Michigan today at Cannabis Aid Conference. I'm here with Jeremy Jacobs. He's the CEO of Enlighten. How are you today, Jeremy? I'm great, Johnny. How are you? Doing very well, thank you. Now, Enlighten is in a very unique position. They, you can see their bus behind us, by the way. Um, what they do is they offer in-dispensary advertising and content for uh, a thousand dispensaries at this point across the country, right? Yeah, we're in uh, 36, 37 states, three different countries. Uh, we got about a, a little over a thousand clients uh, that have various products, but all of those clients have our in-store education media network uh, that broadcasts educational content and offers advertising space for both endemic brands, uh, cannabis products, as well as products uh, like, for example, DoorDash is a big supporter of ours. Uh, Showtime puts shows up. Uh, that are cannabis driven. Live Nation likes to advertise concerts and things of that nature. So we allow advertising space for both cannabis brands as well as culturally relevant okay. to mix in with our educational content. Wow. Yeah. yeah, that's really cool. Now, obviously, you, you know, the advertising space is so unique because you're conveying the message of the different brands and you're just trying to get the awareness out there and help educate and do it in the proper manner. Um, what really led you to this type of uh, business? Well, you know, where, how'd you get into this to begin with? Great question. It's kind of interesting. If you if you circle back to almost six years ago, be January one, six years, when Colorado first implemented its recreational cannabis, we got involved early on. We were making digital menus and self-service kiosks and things of that nature for the industry. But we started to quickly realize that there was a shortage of advertising real estate for these brands. These dispensaries are, are these cannabis brands that make edibles, vape pens, things of that nature. Uh, they were so bad in the beginning, Johnny. Mm -hmm. They were they were adopting sections of highways wow. so they could get their logos wow. on the state signs to clean just, up the highways. Just anything. Just anything. Yeah, yeah you know, because you, you've got small magazines uh, that people are that people are advertising in, but you can't put at that time you couldn't put up billboards. You can't buy television even yet today. YouTube's not going to let the ads. Facebook, Google, you're out. And so there was no real advertising space. And so we started off the network really as a lifestyle sort of a network. We figured that hard driving lots of flashing lights concert mm -hmm. videos was kind of the culture that in a mix of advertising and then quickly we saw that that wasn't what consumers wanted and that the biggest growing segments of consumers were actually more like uh, baby boomers at this point before that it was a 40 year old soccer mom these have been some of the fastest growing cannabis segments so we kept the advertising and created that advertising real estate at point of purchase which is the most valuable place but really shifted from a lifestyle network early on to an education network to fill mm -hmm. that gap yeah, I know from Ohio's numbers alone, like 70% uh, of our patients are 50 years old and above. So that baby boomer is the biggest demographics, it seems, across the country. Well, it definitely is. It's the fastest growing demographic that these baby boomers will now accept cannabis. If, and if you think about it, a lot of those baby boomers were consuming cannabis in the 70s. Mm -hmm. And, then, you know, they quit as they become adults for drug testing, become a big thing in the country, and they stopped that. But, you know, I would argue that in Ohio, a lot of the reason that baby boomers are your largest generation is because of medical program is so restrained mm -hmm. and the qualifying conditions are so tight that there's so many illnesses that people that are younger have that just don't qualify so they don't get to be part of the medical program so I think it's a bit of both you know that's a fast-growing segment yeah. because they're used to the cannabis but in Ohio you just have a very restrictive medical program no okay cool good point now like I said we're standing out in front of Enlightens bus this is their new flagship um, kind of marketing bus essentially uh, we'll give you guys a quick walk around and show you how they wrapped it with their logos and then on the inside you guys actually um, basically set it up as if it was a, a dispensary and then you have your monitors and everything sure. on the inside showing how your content your advertising and your original content is displayed uh, for patients when you guys are in the dispensary so it gives you a really cool visual and then it also it's educational and gives you ideas of what other brands and products are out there. Well, you know, I think for a lot of people, and we call it the real cannabis because we're pretty sure that other people are now going to try to copy this. So this one's the real cannabis. You mm -hmm. want to check it out? Go to therealcannabis.com. There's a website that shows its tour and where it's going to go. You can request the cannabis to stop at your area, your dispensary, your show. Uh, if you're a sponsor and you want to sponsor products and things on the bus, you can you can do that there. But really, the inside is uh, is to create awareness of what a high-end dispensary really looks like with totally integrated technology so if you take you look at cannabis a lot of these dispensaries aren't utilizing the same tool sets as say modern retail you know like a lot of stores in your malls or your big box retailers and this is showcasing what our clients that work with Enlighten what they're able to achieve in their dispensary so inside is a high-end it's a faux or fake high-end real high-end dispensary yeah no it looks really cool and like I said we'll show you guys with some pictures 
Um, you know, I think you guys are doing a big service to the industry by really being a behemoth uh, of a marketing platform and really bringing everything, your graphics, your presence, um, the content, the advertising, it's all very high level and, and very good quality. Well, I appreciate that. And we try, you know, from his, from his, I think we got, I think we got competition, yeah. Johnny. That's right. We're lucky. This microphone's pretty good, but yeah, the, hopefully they cut out in we a got second. A little competition. From a scale standpoint, you mentioned the word behemoth. Uh, from a scale standpoint, we reach over two billion impressions a year as a media network, and the reason for that is we're at point. Of, it's crazy when you think about it. We're at point of purchase, and so you have no choice but to view our content at point of purchase. It's on a gigantic screen. Uh, if you think about, you know, websites that might want to boast big numbers, somebody has to physically want to go to that website, and uh, you know, there's just not as much web traffic as there is dispensary traffic. So that's how we're able to garner those numbers. But from an educational standpoint, we're also behemoth. We have hundreds and hundreds, probably in the thousands at this point, of educational video files that we've created over years and years. Uh, you know, as you said, from our graphic. We use high-end graphic designers. We use some of the best software. We use some of the best graphics. We we shoot our own footage. We make our own photography. So, you know, from a resource standpoint, yeah, I would I would agree we're a behemoth, and just have a lot of resources to do a great job and do a great service to the industry. Yeah, no, absolutely. And in case you guys didn't hear, because of the intercom, two billion impressions a year. Two billion with a B. I mean, that's huge. So congratulations on that. Um, I, one last thing here. I think you guys said you're going to be taking these buses. Uh, you almost want to do a fleet of them, and you're going to be going across the country, right? Yeah, so this, so I would like a fleet. I'm overly ambitious sometimes. Uh, I believe this one, the last three weeks, about killed us putting it together. Yeah. We rolled in yesterday. It wasn't actually complete. Or day be I guess it was the day before yesterday. Uh, so, you know, yeah, do we want to build more of these? Absolutely. The, the, the point of the bus is, or is a couple fold. One is to be able to showcase and Lighten's products. Uh, you know, it's hard to get people into a showroom, but it's easy when you can bring the showroom to them. Mm -hmm. The second thing is there's a tremendous amount of sponsorship opportunities. You know, there's a lot of brands in Michigan that could have done really well. We've been the most popular thing at this show. Yeah. I think that's going to continue everywhere we go. You know, it's just a neat concept. It's, it's very simple to understand. And so if, you know, that had been a certain particular edibles or vape pens companies in all of those shelves and on all those digital menus, that's a huge amount of exposure. I know people want that. I, I saw cards for lawyers and CPAs they had laid out in our bus because they realized we're the highest traffic thing at the show. Yeah. So it's a good it's a good place to market. Uh, and also, you know, to hit these shows, it's a lot of trouble if you do these exhibitions correctly to market yeah. your company. It's a lot easier when you just pull up and hit some buttons and the slides mm. pop out. Yeah. You know, that makes things a lot easier. Uh, and, and to be able to tour the country at, at both cannabis expos, and we're even looking at, at events like South by Southwest, uh, Bonnaroo, Electric Forest here in Michigan. Going outside of the cannabis bubble, what I found is one of the best things to do because we are in a bubble, you know, and it's yeah, all absolutely. about, you know, cannabis more at these events. So taking what we do outside to non-cannabis events is you should get a bigger impact, I think. Well, you know, I think if you get to Bonnaroo Music Festival, 100% of people there are your, are your target market. <laughs> yeah. I would argue, I'd argue 100% of people at music festivals. Yeah. It's, it's an obvious connection. That's why companies like Live Nation like to do business with. I think yeah. marijuana and music are pretty synonymous terms. And so, yeah, we believe that as well. And, and, and you know, from a perspective of consumer education, uh, we feel like if we show consumers this is what could be available, they'll demand that from their dispensaries, and, you know, then we get to work with them. That's awesome. Now, uh, you guys are in Ohio dispensaries at the moment. Ohio's a very controversial and hard state when it comes to advertising. You basically can't do anything. Um, but you can see Enlighten. Way to put it. Do, you can basically do nothing. I, yeah. I agree, Johnny. You're allowed to do nothing. But uh, Enlighten <laughs> is, they do have their displays at a few dispensaries in Ohio. You're with Terrasana. You're with um, Rise. Or you, or, no, uh, Terrasana, uh, Zen Leaf. And yeah, we're at Zen Leaf facilities. We're yeah. in Terrasana facilities. I think you're at with one more in Ohio. Yeah, I, I'm not positive yeah. uh, which one it is. We get so many clients, I, I hate to forget them, but, you yeah. know, it's, 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 it's a big list. It's a big list. Uh, but they're out there. I mean, you guys do have a small footprint in Ohio, so you guys can see, you know, what they do and they're, what they're trying to do here for the Ohio market as well. Yeah, absolutely. It, you know, we've had our struggles, uh, you know, not to, to get into it too deep or to, mm -hmm. or to pick fights. I think the... Uh, the Ohio Board of Pharmacies, restrictive, we'll use that word. They're restrictive. Safe on, word. <laughs> that's a safe word. I, our experience hasn't been excellent, you know, and mm -hmm. we've had a long time waiting on content that we've sent over to get approved. It's There's supposed to be a 10-day turnaround. I know several of our clients have sent over like 120 days ago or something. Uh, we've, we've had meetings with them, uh, hoping to iron those processes out and, you know, try to convey to them the importance of 
point of purchase education, point of purchase branding, point of purchase advertising, and how you don't lose a medical experience, which I think is what they're trying to continue yeah. to stay authentic. You know, you don't lose that experience with this. You actually can enhance that experience. So, you know, we're trying to see eye to eye. We'll, we'll see where that goes. It'll take some time, and hopefully Ohio will get there. Yeah. Um, well, we really appreciate your time, Jeremy. It was, it was great meeting hey, thanks you. Thanks a lot. Uh, where can, so give the Cannabis URL again, yeah. and then also where it's Enlightened's website. So if you want to visit Enlightened in general, uh, getenlightened.io. Again, that's getenlightened.io is our company website. There, if you're a dispensary, you can learn about our dispensary products. If you're an advertiser, you can learn about our advertising products. If you want to check out The Real Cannabis, mm -hmm. just, visit, cool. just visit therealcannabis.com and register to have the, the bus come to your facility. All right, cool. Well, hey, we appreciate it again, Jeremy. It was great meeting you guys and your team. I mean, your team has been uh, very hospitable the whole time, and uh, you guys have made a had a presence here and done a good job, so congratulations. We appreciate talking. Thanks yeah. a lot, Johnny. Thank you, guys. See ya. Bye.